Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. One of our readers named Harjeev commented on my watermarking post asking about using both a text and graphic watermark at the same time inside of Lightroom. Now, as he said, Lightroom allows you to select either a text or a graphic for your watermark, but it doesn't allow you to do both. But I think with a little bit of creativity that you can achieve the same effect by using a transparent PNG as your watermark image file. Now what I've done inside of Photoshop is I've created this transparent image here and I've added the Lightroom Fanatic logo and some text and you can see I've got one line that's black and one uh, which you might not be able to see uh, but there's a, a line of text that's white here as well uh, and if you're familiar with Photoshop you'll notice that the little checkerboard pattern on the back means there's no background so it's transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a watermark uh, by exporting it as a PNG file. Um, now PNG is a special file format in that it allows for um, basically pixels in the image to be flagged as transparent. So you can see if I uncheck this and I don't use transparency, it's got a white background and that's what you would get if you used a JPEG. But with the transparency option checked, uh, I'm actually exporting this image and all of these pixels that are uh, basically the checkerboard are going to be uh, transparent and Lightroom will honor that transparency uh, when we apply it as a watermark. So I'm going to go ahead and save it and you can see I've already saved it. I will overwrite it here so there's no magic. And I'm going to switch back over to Lightroom now and I've got an image selected here so you'll be able to see what it looks like and I'm going to go to Lightroom and edit watermarks and what I'm going to do is pick that image that I just made and you can kind of see it down on the corner here but what we'll do is I'm going to move it over to the right and then I'm going to change the size and as you can see what I wind up with is a watermark that has a graphic uh, with some space and then some text so you can put your website on there your name uh, anything you really want to um, and it's a, a way basically to get around the fact that you normally have to pick one or the other uh, when you're generating a watermark instead of Lightroom. So it's a little bit of magic but uh, I think it achieves uh, the same result uh, and it's definitely easier than uh, having to go into Photoshop to apply a watermark with a different kind of text uh, and, and having to make that round trip from, uh, from Lightroom to Photoshop. So. I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. And as always, you can check out more over at lightroomfanatic.com.